Hey guys! All right, I got something uh, super important to share with you today. And this is especially for those people who might be going through a rough patch. Who are like, man, my life is hard right now. It could be financial, it could be uh, in, your, in your marriage, it could be maybe a struggle with one of your kids. Um, and your career and with with your health could be anything and this is something that I think all of us especially believers need to know but sometimes our culture can creep in and distort things a bit our culture is always telling us like life is hard and it's rough and everyone's struggling and it almost normalizes that idea of us never being enough or never being okay or never having success in our life, it normalizes struggle. Now, this is what I need you to know. If you normalize struggle, then that's all you're gonna have in your life. It's gonna be set on repeat pattern. If you're not struggling in your finances, you'll be struggling with, um, in your family, you'll be struggling with your health. There'll always be some level of struggle because you've normalized it. And what I mean by normalizing it is you think, well, this is just how it's supposed to be right? Because our culture says like, this is how it's supposed to be. But here's the deal. It's okay to not be okay, but it's not okay to stay there. Okay. I want to, I want to say that again. You need to know this. It's okay to not be okay, but it's not okay to stay there. I think about in the Bible when, um, when Gideon, you know, he was having such a, such a hard time and he was really struggling. Um, he was basically enslaved. He had lost all of, all of his land everything was taken away from him by this tribe called the Midianites. So here's Gideon and he's struggling and he's, he doesn't have, he can't even have the food to eat. So he, he has wheat and he's trying to thresh it. I mean, he's trying to grind it up to make bread and he doesn't even have the utensils anymore to do that. So he's trying to use his wine press to like grind up wheat. Like it doesn't make sense. So some things we do in life doesn't, they, they don't make sense only because we're trying to just make it through. Like no matter what we do, if we have to use a wine press to grind up the wheat and make some type of bread to eat, it, it makes sense at the time because this is the only resource I have. And sometimes we get like that when life is really hard where we just get in this desperate mode where it's like, I just got to make it through. Now, like I said, it's okay to not be okay. We have those times in our life when it's struggling, we're just trying to make it through the day and that's success. Sometimes it is and that's totally okay. This is when the angel of the Lord appeared to him and he called him a mighty man of valor. And it says in the Bible that Gideon looks around and he's like, wait a minute, are you, are you talking to me? Like you evidently don't know who you're talking to. Like uh, move on and find whoever you're talking to, it ain't me. And if we start normalizing struggle and pain and stress and suffering and think, well, that's just life. Then when God gives us an opportunity, we may have a tendency to say, well, no, that's not for me. That's for someone else because I'm supposed to have it hard. I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to struggle in life. Now, if we hold that idea, we always will. But if we can be open to maybe God doing a new thing in our life, he says in the Bible, behold, I am doing a new thing. Can you not now perceive it? So the level to which we can perceive the ability of God to do something new in our life will reveal the level to which we will receive it and act upon it. I need you to know this because we can let opportunity pass us by every single day of our lives. If we don't understand, this could be God showing up, giving me an opportunity to get out of this struggle, to get out of this pain, to get out of this, this normalized suffering that I've created in my life or that has been created by something in my life. The deal with a, a lot of times in the Bible, we have to go through wildernesses, right? We have to go through periods of loss, periods of grieving, periods of pain. But the beautiful thing about having a relationship to Jesus is that we don't have to stay there. So all of these stories of going through the wilderness, Jesus had to spend time in the wilderness, right? I mean, even Jesus couldn't escape this. Jesus spent time in the wilderness. The Israelites spent time in the wilderness. There were times when, when people ran off out of stress or struggle, like Isaiah and they had to spend time in the wilderness. It's like we can't escape the wilderness. All you have to do is just camp out in that period. You don't build a home there. Wildernesses are places where we have to like camp out sometimes. Maybe we have a chapter 
of wilderness. Maybe we have a chapter of struggle, but we don't build a home in the wilderness. We figure out how to work with God to get us out of it. So when we learn how to do that, that changes everything. So it's okay to not be okay. If you're struggling right now, if you feel like you're in a wilderness and if you feel like, you know, this is just a this is just a hard chapter. I want you to see it as just a chapter. It's not the whole book. This is not your life. It's a chapter of your life. And that chapter will lead to another chapter. And you get to decide, is this going to be the chapter of the breakthrough? Is this going to be the chapter where I get out of the promised land and I walk in? I mean, I get out of the, I get out of the wilderness and I walk into my promised land. Is this that chapter? Because I get to decide. And when I decide that God wants to bless me, that God desires the best for me, that God will withhold no good thing from me, that God wants to load me up with benefits, then I can agree and say, yes, this chapter's done. I am, I'm, I'm picking up my camp. We're breaking down camp. We're picking it up and we're moving out of this wilderness because a promised land is waiting. And I'm telling you right now, especially if you're in the middle of a struggle, a promised land is waiting for you because God would not be God if he was not faithful to his promises. And he promises you, you will have victory in your life. You will have breakthrough in your life. I've created you to be the head and not the tail, the top and not the bottom. You are created to live a cut above. So yeah, I might be here right now, but I ain't staying here. This is just a chapter, it's just a period. I'm just camping out, but I know maybe it's time to break down camp. Maybe it's time for my breakthrough, but you can't have that breakthrough till you have that breakdown. So break down your camp, get ready to say today, enough is enough because our culture says, oh, struggle is normal. You're supposed to have it hard as a mom. You're supposed to struggle in your marriage. You have to work on your marriage. You have to hustle and grind in your career. Maybe that's not true. Maybe that's just how the world thinks. And maybe it's time for you to add that God element to the way you're living your life and say, no, 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 I tried that. Not good enough for me. I'm willing to believe for something better. So I felt the need to share this because someone out there, God is positioning you right now, but he needs you to get into agreement with him. It's time for your breakthrough. I love you so much, friend. It's okay to not be okay. Not okay to stay there. So we're moving on, moving up. Praise God.